Hi, I'm Chad Vanderveen for GTTV. I'm at the California Capitol Air Show at Mather Field near Sacramento, California. You may think air shows are all about jets and stunt pilots, but there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes. For example, behind me is the Mobile Command Center, operated by the Folsom California Police Department. The Mobile Command Center coordinates all the communication operations for the entire air show. I'm going to get a special tour by Folsom telecommunications expert Chuck Schuler to see what goes on inside a mobile command center. This vehicle was built specifically for command and communication, so we have a variety of radios. We have 32 radio resources we can bring in, a variety of uh, radios, phones, satellite phones, different communications resources, also for uh, command and control. So your major command staff, your police lieutenants, your fire captains would sit in here and make major decisions on a big disaster. There's about 400 officers and different personnel actually um, on the communication systems that we're utilizing today. This is a communications area, COM 7401. What we have back here is five full dispatch positions. You can see there's a variety of uh, computers and uh, screens and radio operators back here doing their job, keeping everybody communicating. So this is the, uh, the hub, the heart, the brain of our communication system. We have a uh, number of 800 megahertz radios, UHF, VHF, marine, aircraft, amateur radio be able to talk to any kind of personnel, uh, public safety or amateur or otherwise in the region. And we can uh, take this equipment, patching through a computer system and patch all the different radio systems together to keep everybody communicating. On the screen, you can see a variety of resources. You can actually see what's going on. Everything that's turning green is actually somebody talking. That's a radio receiving traffic. So one particular radio on this screen will actually have 500 radio channels with law enforcement or fire or whatever. So there's just a, a real powerful communication system, a lot of resources available. And in order to patch, if I want to bring two people together, I'm going to hit the talk group button and I want that radio, this radio, and that radio to talk. Pretty little flower and we know we're talking. So this particular software is really powerful, but it's also really simple to use and really simple to just look at the screen and know what's going on. This is a live event and we actually have a couple of things going on right now. We're patching in some law enforcement in order to let the military guys listen in to our police officers. And we also have a Another patch here for the military to listen to our fire people. That happens to be a infrared version on our camera. And then if I go to 67, I can go to the visible light of the same thing. And again, everything's just on a television channel. I happen to know that channel 69 is a quad display. So if you know, you know how to use a television remote, you've mastered our video system. <laughs> Using two vehicles is actually a really good asset for us. We really need these two vehicles. What's going on in here, they're monitoring a bunch of channels. There's another command area so that people can have a place to get out of the weather and, and work and everything. So these two vehicles work really well together. So in here, we'll see another complement of communications equipment. This is Ben Green with OES. How you doing, he man? helps us out with the, all the OES resources. This is actually an OES slash uh, SAC Regional Fire vehicle. And you can see it's just another setup, another comm van with a, a lot of uh, communications equipment, a lot of radios for pretty much every frequency band a lot again. Of <laughs> yeah, a lot of burritos, computer screens. Uh, and again, we've got these two trucks linked together for networking, we can send messages back and forth, and uh, just another uh, communications resource for us. We, we actually obtained COM 7401 as our vehicle. We obtained that as, with uh, DHS money, it was Homeland Security money. Our mission is to house the vehicle and, and supply the manpower for it. The citizens of Folsom have this as a tool because it serves their, the city, of course, but we also offer it up as a regional asset, and so uh, we have agreed to take it out whenever we need to. And because it's the premier communications vehicle in the region, I was approached by Sacramento County Sheriff and they've requested that we run communications because of the capabilities of the vehicle and because of the capabilities of our team. This truck takes about 20 minutes to set up the basic operations, but really about an hour to respond and get set up. Uh, if it's after hours, maybe a couple hours to actually put together a team and get it out there running. But what, really what it comes down to right now is the culture of let's order this thing up. You know, if, if there's a fire, of course you send out a fire crew. but. Uh, if it's some kind of operation, will you send out a comm van? I think uh, we're really trying to get to where it's more of a standard thing for the sergeants and lieutenants that are in the field to actually call the comm van out as soon as a hostage negotiation situation starts. So. And we also have the uh, Oasis trailer here in the background and uh, Office of Emergency Services has about nine of these stationed around the, the state of California. And they have repeaters on board, they have um, satellite internet and also some voip, voice off, um, over IP telephones that they can bring in. And so this particular trailer here is actually helping us out with our radio patch. The uh, repeater actually lives in this truck. They also have an internet pipe that they can bring us in and um, some phones. Just in case our phone system's going down, we're gonna go into the instant command post, the nerve center, and there's actually a couple of uh, internet phones in there supplied off this truck. This is the instant command post. Um, we're just gonna peek in a little bit and we'll see a lot of video cameras. Uh, again, we're bringing our computer system in from outside and uh, supporting this room. We got a 
lieutenants and, and captains in here doing their job, and we're the ones giving them the communications all provided from our mobile command center. Stick around for the following video for some cool highlights from the Sacramento County Air Show.